Yeah. We're live, but nobody's here. Oh, uh, what a day, what a day. What a day. Who wants to know the sex of the baby? I'm going to tell you, it's, it's a snuggle bug. The sex of the baby is a snuggle bug. Apparently, the baby is a fish. <laughs> it is dolphin baby. Do we have that? Uh, what's up, guys? We're doing chess. I know. <clears throat> Everyone's here. We're Coming chess. in. Kevin and I had a heck of a day. Heck of a day. Running around in doctor's oh, yeah. offices. That was bullshit. a heck of a day. But uh, it's good. We're going to lift some weights. We're going to burn some stress off. We're going to get our chesty pumpies on. And uh, I am super stoked. Today we learned the sex of the baby. I'm not allowed to tell you what it is, but it's fucking awesome. And uh, <laughs> hey, I am super duper stressed out. So let's let's lift some weights. Um, we're not stressed out, but uh, relieved and uh, had a lot of a lot of anxiety today. Check in, make sure the baby's okay, all that jazz. But the good news is we get to get nice and swollen and pumpy. So I am going to put on the thunder straps. We are going to warm up our shoulders, and uh, and then we're going to do a chest day. And this is chest day from Don't Bill Anarchy, courtesy of Dave Freaking Lips. Um, yeah, and it's going to be great, man. I'm super duper stoked. Um, you know, my parents are going to be excited to hear our news, and we're going to let everybody know what the baby is. What is the baby? Tell me, what is baby? Um, so standby, hold on. Uh, if you have your setup, just get yourself going. Bench, dumbbells, barbell, whatever you got, we're going to go through it. Today's going to be fucking epic. Um, and uh, we're going to start pumping chest, pumping titties. Um, and then, and then ski, uh, we're going to finish with some tricep work. In the meantime, to see where we are, I'm going to grab my tripod stand, get the Instagram live going, and we'll get rocking with this workout. Stand by. This is intermission. Get yourself ready. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> okay, so we're ready to do some chesties. Just getting this going on Instagram Live. What a day we've had. Um, and uh, let's get us going here. Dave Freaking Lipson. There is my last story. Flipping it around. Connection come live. Yeah. What's up? All right. Today is the day. What a day we've had today. All right, welcome, guys. Welcome to Anarchy Chest Day. Um, today, we're going to do some chesticles. I'm going to walk you through a pretty comprehensive warm-up, get our rotator cuffs nice and loose. Then we're going to start some pressing. We're going to work on a continuum with some heavier mechanical loading stuff. Then we're going to get into tempo and rep work. And then we're going to finish with a massive pump out. So uh, this is going to be fun. Uh, we're going to get chesty up in here, 
And then we're going to come in and Cammy uh, later, I don't know if it's tonight, but well, my family is tonight, is going to do the gender reveal of our baby, uh, which is going to be awesome. So very excited about that. So first off, let's just get stretching good. I'm going to tilt you guys over here so you can see what it got. Uh, and we're going to start with some banded shoulder distraction work. So what you want to do for this guy is uh, I take a band. Just double it up here just for a little extra tension. Hand goes through, and we're going to start just by opening up that shoulder joint. Lean back, take that arm that the leg that's in the arm side, and just lean forward with it. Oh, yeah, cracks and pops all day. Oh, feels good. Lat open, around a little bit. This is really good. Side on it. Yes, sir. Woo! One, now we're gonna get the other side. Gosh, that felt, this feels so good to open up your lat. You guys can't see me, here we go. And I like to bring my foot, see I just bring my foot across a little bit and stretch the lat as I go down. This goes down, go down. Nice. To the side, oh, yeah. Woo! Okay, cool. Now, we're going to do some banded external rotation work. So this is a really important one for you guys who have shittier shoulders, um, shittier than most. <laughs> uh, and I'm, not, I'm in that group, by the way. I've got a torn biceps tendon and torn rotator cuff. But I can still press heavy pain free if I, if I take care of myself. Here's an important exercise that I've had a lot of success with. It's simple. You guys have seen it before, probably. It's banded external rotation. One thing I recommend, though, He's doing it for very high reps. So what I'll do is I'll do 30 here on the side and another 30 up top for two or three rounds to just push a lot of blood into that rotator cuff to get it warm. This is my strong one. This sounds good. 10, 10, 8, 4, 3, 2, 3, Eight, nine, ten. We switch arms now. We gonna switch arms up in here. Okay, good. Now we're gonna go shoulder height. So I'll look at the to shoulder height, same thing, just like a door swing on the hinge. Switch arms. Like you know, the first couple reps, they don't feel great um, always, right? Uh, but as as you start pushing blood in there, it just kind of feels better and better. We do the same thing with some core parts now. So we do high reps, twenty five right here. So we move to the side. I don't know. We come behind the neck. And then the last one's going to be palms up, chest height. So we're actually going to externally rotate the arm too. Yes, pump down. All right, so that's where we're in round one. Round two, 
I'm going to go through the same thing, except the last thing I'm going to show you guys, and you know I love this stretch for getting shoulders loose and ready, especially for pressing. It's the sleeper stretch on the floor for the posterior cuff. So I'm going to show you this one here on the ground. Take it from me. My shoulders are fucked up, <laughs> like a lot of people. Um, but I'm proud that I found a way to deal with the pathology of my shoulder with preventative exercises and, uh, and some interesting exercise prescription to kind of modify things to be able to operate pain free. So here we go. Sleeper stretch. First thing you're going to do, pull your shoulders down and back. So I'm actually crunching up that towel underneath my scapula. And I'm going to roll on top of the shoulder that anchors it down on the ground, nice and easy. I'm just giving a little bit of assistance at the end of each rep. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. On the last rep, hold. You know, the goal is to try to get that hand as tight to the ground or as close to the ground as you can. Obviously, mine is far away which is kind of indicative of GERD, general internal rotation deficiency. Now watch this, I can crack my back right here too. Oh, it feels amazing. God damn, I don't, jeez, instant, instant chiropractor. Um, all right, now we're gonna go to the other side. Same thing. So, shoulders pulled down and down, the towels are crunching up. I lean on this side, bring it down towards the ground. Ten, and here we go. We're gonna hold. Just let that cuff. See if I get my hand. This arm's actually a little better. This was my throwing arm uh, in baseball, so I'm pretty pretty mobile on this arm, despite uh, the muscle. Oh, nice. We'll crack it back. Oh gosh, so good when I do that. Cool. That's what we're round one. Pretty simple, right? So now we're gonna go one more round through that. And, uh, oh, guessing me? Hi, hello. One more round through, and then we'll uh, we'll start pressing and get ourselves jacked and pumpy. Um, so, and, here we go. Oh, you know what, we started with this, this distraction. You guys all see? Oh, I lost you. I'm terrible with this camera stuff, guys, so. Judge me, don't judge me, whatever. Shoulder distraction. Palms up at the sky. I'm trying to relax my hand and first just get the arm pulling. And then watch this leg. It's going to go across my center line to open up my lat and lean into it. Oh, yeah. Fishing around. We're going on a fishing expedition. One, hit the other arm. It's nice to kind of unload that joint because God knows we're going to load it with some big boy weight today. Drop, drop the big boy away. Here we go. Nice. All right, let's hit some of that external rotation stuff. Good job now. So I can show you over here. You guys all see? Okay, that's good. So, 30. One. Switch arms. Okay. Now we're gonna come to shoulder height. See me back here. I was in shoulder height. Yeah. 
now, and there it is, full parts. It's kind of working the muscles surrounding the scapula, 25 right here. See the angle as I go down? It's almost like a 45 degree angle. Get out. Behind the neck. Palms facing up. Fucking go. All right, last sleeper stretch, baby. You know it. We're going to press heavy. So, getting myself jacked. I'm glad I took a little pre workout today. Some of that pre workout, y'all. Pre workout. Can you feel it? Can you feel that pre workout? Shoulders back, towel crunches up, rolls on the shoulder to anchor down. One, two. Eight, nine, ten, hold. Good, turn it Other side. Anchor the shoulder down. One, two, three, four. I'm happy today. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Who's happy? Ten, hold. Yeah, baby, let's do this. Okay, today. Cool. Hey, we're going to start on flat bench. And uh, for those of you guys doing this, it's an example of muscle anarchies, dumbbell anarchy, actually. So, dumbbell anarchy is the dumbbell only adapted version. Although, today, special occasion, you guys are lucky, um, I am going to um, incorporate some other different stuff in with it as you guys follow along. I'll be sure to tell you all the options if you are using dumbbells. So, first set. Like a lot of our first sets is going to be blood flow. Um, so for the blood flow set, smooth reps. What I want to do is try to hit 20 smooth reps with the dumbbells, um, just to push some blood in the arms, kind of get used to pressing, get your bearings. You guys can do this floor pressing. So on the ground, just bringing the, the elbows to the floor, be smooth, don't bang your elbows on the floor. I'm going to do it on, on bench flat. If you want to, you can do the barbell. You can do barbell flat. Um, so. The idea here is flat bench, that's the point. Now the flat bench, one of the things you'll notice is that you're using a different part of your pec muscle, the pectorialis major, the lower pec, versus the pec minor, which is the upper pec. But that's okay, because we're gonna hit um, we're gonna hit the upper pec in exercise two with some incline. Right now we're just we're going flat, we're getting a little heavier. Papa's putting his elbow sleeves on, that's the thing. That's a dangerous sign when I start doing that. And uh, we're just going to get some good, hard, heavy dumbbell pressing in um, just for you guys. Just for you because you're special. You're special and I like you. And uh, I'm ready to grow some muscle today. Getting ready, kind of cutting down a little bit with our tread group, which is fun. Been enjoying the diet, got good energy. Um, oh, my arms are getting bigger, obviously. Holy shit. He's used to fit. <laughs> okay, good. So dumbbell flat bench, 25 reps just to start. Your set number one. Make a nice manageable, nice manageable weight. These are my little dogs. They're not my baby dogs. He's got my junior dogs, my little dogs, big dogs, and my top dog, my alpha dogs. So yeah, I think these are my little dogs. Um, so let's go ahead and we'll press these. I'm going to try to hit 25 and just be nice and smooth. You know, like, feel it out a little. When you do this first set, just take an inventory on how you're feeling. The shoulder especially. Like, you know, let, it, let the shoulder catch up. Uh, listen to it a little. Don't, uh, don't rush this stuff, right? Look along. 
Dogs got schooled. I took you guys to school today. Good. Set one is done. It's a little blood flow set. Get yourself nice and loose. Cool. Nice. Woo. All right. Set number two. We're going to start incorporating some tempos. So for this one, you're going to do reps with a three second negative. So for this three second negative, you can kind of think like you're counting Mississippi, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, press, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, press. Extra points if you put a one second pause at the finish of the movement. And if you squeeze your titties, bah! Um, because that's a great way to get peak muscle tension. Now, obviously the tempo is for time under tension, because you're holding the belt for longer and you're actually resisting gravity against the contracting muscle. Um, so that's great for muscle micro tearing, muscle damage, and ultimately muscle growth. Education is what I just said. So let me uh, grab my big dogs. They're not my top dogs, but they are my big dogs. And we'll do this set for 15 with a three count down. And I consider this to be our first working set. A working set means, um, it's a good way to describe this. It means it's a little fucking hard. <laughs> yeah, that's what a working set is. So the goal in, let's say, a set of uh, five, four or five sets is to have anywhere between three and four of them to be good, hard working sets. You might amp up as you go, get a little harder and harder each time. Come on, big dogs. Ugh. Big dogs. I'm loving big dogs. Everybody wants to be a thunder, bro. Nobody wants to be big weights. All right, so 15 with a three count, nice and smooth. Breathe it out. Here we go. Get the right weight. Yep, 95, 95 is good. Lock it in, lips, and let's go. Set number one. Are you watching? Where's my trainer, Waddy? I hope Waddy's watching right now. He should be watching. Disciple. Disciple of Waddy Watkins. Okay. Set number two is done. Aha! All right, that was good. My neighbors love me because I'm so normal. Um, all right, so I'm going to put these down. However, you're supposed to do that. Okay, that's the best one way to do it. Whew. All right, this is where she gets scary. So we're now going to progress from. The big dogs to the top dogs. And the continuum is gonna go down now. You see we're reducing the repetitions and increasing the weight. If you were doing this at home, and let's say you didn't have an extensive set of dumbbells like this, that's totally fine. What you can do is you can add extra band tension. So for instance, you put a band around the back, like you're holding it like a backpack with a band just push up in the hands. Grab them with the dumbbells. So you got band resistance on top of dumbbell resistance. That's one way. You probably do the same reps even. You could increase the reps if you didn't have any heavier weight. Just try to get close to failure. So maybe instead of 15, maybe that could look like 30. Or you can have a buddy put over pressure on top of the bells and make it a little harder. 
which is nasty, nasty, and a killer muscle building method that I wish I had sometimes with Cammy's bacon and cake for her gender reveal. So set number three, you're going to be 12 reps with a three-second negative up the hill. So go grab your heavier weight and put down your baby dick and let's lift some weight. Yeah. Oh, these are dogs. These dogs are heavy. These are my top dogs. This dog right here is insane. That's a crazy, crazy dog. It's weird because it's the bell the size doesn't make sense to me. Because I got uh, two one twenties, but one of them is bigger. This one's kind of I guess consolidated more. This one's like bigger. I don't know. It's just weird. So. Whew. I chop the hands here. Let's get nice and locked in. All right. This is going to be fun. I got my super sturdy, uh, dick sporty good $100 bench here. So hopefully these little screws are strong. And, uh, Let's lift some big boy weight. Here we go, Nipson. On count of three. One, two, hit. I'm in. That one. That one. Okay. All right. Keep it tight. Keep it clean. No rag rats. Set they is pretty damn challenging. Try to get a couple of them every exercise. <sighs> I'll just give myself about two minutes. Hit the same thing again. So a good quality repetition. One thing I'm focusing on is just being nice and controlled on the way down, just trying to feel that negative and uh, lengthen the muscle. Get a good squeeze when I finish the press. We're building packs. These packs do not build themselves. Yeah, baby. So, that was set three. We got two more good sets here. And then we're going to move on from our heavy mechanical loading exercises to stuff that's a little bit more pumpy, a little bit more higher rep. We grab a water just because, uh, you know, hydration and everything. So, what are you guys doing? Everybody's laughing at me. Everybody's laughing at lips and lifting them weights. Today's chest day, people. And uh, you gotta love it. Uh, chest day is the best day. Especially when you're doing muscle anarchy. Oh, you know it. Come on, bring some pain. This one's dedicated to my, my bros who I normally train with. Wadi. Uh, Maximilian, uh, Donnie, Big D, miss you guys. I'm going to get big for you. I'm going to get real muscular. And when you come back, you guys are going to be tiny. I'm going to be big. Don't feel bad about it. It's going to happen. Whenever this shit ends, you're going to be huge. Let's go. Oh, sit on four. Own it, baby. Own it. Come on, Nipson. Quality reps. Here we go. One, two, three. Up. Yep, there it is. 
Where you at, Donnie? I'm coming for you, man. You so ready to compete against Donnie on that stage. I know he's getting ready for USA Nationals right now. Here we go, big cat. Let's get it. Go good. That was how many reps? 12 reps of the three count. Now you notice, like, I don't count that first rep up. I want to make it legit. Quality reps, accumulate quality reps, good peak muscle tension, good positions, and accumulates over time. I was having a good conversation with my buddy JP a little bit earlier about setting realistic expectations. Your muscle gain is not really a product of months or seasons, or even a year. It's really a product of years, you know? It's just consistently gaining over years. It's realistic to think you're gonna gain maybe five pounds of muscle in a good year of training. The problem is people gain and then they lose, or they gain but it's not quality, you know? Every time you, you gain mass, it's not just only muscle. It's a little muscle, it's also a little fat. So, you know, this is a game of consistency. Woo. One more reset, set, and then we're gonna get crazy. Everyone in the neighborhood, I think they're looking at me through there, I see them in their garages being like, what is this guy doing? I'm getting ready. Are you getting ready? Are you fucking ready? Look at this, could, you get, could your wife do a haircut like this for you? Because that, that right there is, is top-notch quality hair work. All right. 30 seconds. Okay, I'm going to chop my hands up. We'll get a good last set. Last one, best one. Whew. I like it. My muscles are feeling tight and full. I didn't really eat much today. Really had a big stressful day with uh, running around in different obstetricians and stuff. But in the end, it all worked out. So I thank God for that. And I thank you for putting me here in front of you guys with these dumbbells, ready to take on the challenges of a training session. It's a blessing to be here right now. I'm very grateful. Now, I'm about to kick the shit out of these dumbbells. Come on. Come on, Dave. Let's get it. Come on, you. Who does number two work for? Let's get it. on that last one. Good. That's fun. Let me put these down. However, you're supposed to do that. Sometimes I'm like, uh, so stand up with the 300 pounds on your lap. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay. Yeah! We did it! You guys excited? All right, let me show you what we got next. Check out this bullshit right here. This is my, my little, I'll tilt you guys here. 
Bam. All right. So I'm about to terrorize myself on the incline machine press. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do five sets of 25 reps, pretty damn close to as heavy as I can. So it's going to be hard. He's going to be hard up here for sure. I'll try to take a good uh, 90 seconds to two minutes between. We get a little heavier with it. This is just smooth reps. You guys have options. So what you can do is with this, just with a set of dumbbells, you can hit your five sets of 25 or something that's close to failure. No tempo. This is pumping work. We are pumping blood into muscle. We got heavier with the dumbbell. So we got peak muscle tension in there. This one's about blood flow. We're getting pumped out. So I'm gonna collect my thoughts. I'm gonna ask for strength. Dear God, please help me be strong here. And uh, I'm gonna rip these out. So let me grab a drink and we're good. How do you guys feel about the weight? What do you think I should do for the first one? I got options here. I can go anywhere from 20 pounds to 200 pounds. What do you guys think? You're right, 200 pounds. Good idea, good idea. I think you nailed it. We're gonna go two hundo, two bills, five sets of 25. What are the reps on that? 125 reps. So, you know, like, shit, I don't know if I'll get it, but it's ambitious, it's a goal. And the idea is to pump blood, get pumpy, rip it out a little. Okay. This, this, uh, this, this set is dedicated to Brett Wilkin, IFBB Pro Brett Wilkin, for being a fucking beast. I got more dedications coming up, so don't worry, don't get jealous, guys. I'm gonna dedicate to you too. You gotta love it. You gotta love this stuff. Otherwise, I don't know why you would do it. If you don't love it. that stings your tits like a fucking hornet's nest got thrown on top of it. Gosh. Oh. All right. Titty stingers right there. First set of 25 done, mother cluckers. Um, so good. Getting it. Our first high rep set. This is muscle anarchy, so we're packing on size, getting lean, getting cut. This is my lifting session today. I already did cardio depletion this morning. Um, so it's kind of part of that protocol of balancing the anabolic and the catabolic signals. I was pretty happy with that set, to be honest with you. I felt hard. Um, now the challenge becomes replicating it. You know, I'll take a good two minutes between, but replicating a set like that, you're going to be challenging. He gonna test David. He gonna test me. He gonna test your willpower. There we go. I don't know anything that is worthwhile that isn't challenging. You know, like I can't name one thing. You know, work, athletics. Relationships, you want a good marriage, you have to work on it. If you want to be good at sports, want to be your best physical self, you got to work on it. If you want to be successful in business, help people, you got to work on it. And this shit is not easy. Sometimes I feel like crying, it's so hard. But 
keeps me coming back in that challenge. I love that challenge. All right. Set number two. How many are we doing? 25. Let's get it. 25 now. Whew. Well, the pecs are a lot fuller than when we started this session. Give me strength now. Come on, give me strength. So it's bringing a lot of blood to my front delt and my pec. Um, yeah, it stings. Ah, 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 come on, get it. Fucking get it, people. You know, like at a certain point, I just get frustrated with excuses. You know, like, I don't know. I want to be nice to people. I want to be inspiring to people, but I also want to be honest. And there's no, there's no easy way. There's no easy way to do it. There's no easy pill. Nothing's easy. You know, it's not supposed to be easy. If it was easy, everyone would have it. You gotta want it. Oh. Here we go. That was set two. I'll be shocked if I can repeat that for set three. I'll try to take a good rest here. We're doing good. Hot 47. You can come in set three, exercise two, muscle anarchy, chest day, chest, chest out, guns out. Ooh. All right, realistic goals. So here my goal on this one is I want to try to get to 20. Let's see if I can hold 20 on this one. It's a good goal. Oh yeah. Chalk, a little chalk on the hands. It gets hot down here. I don't know, I want to slip around a little bit. This might just mean me with wasting time, honestly. I don't know if this is something that's gonna help me be stronger or something that's making me mentally weak right now. Mm. What's up? I burned my hand again. Get over here. Cammy burned her hand through the mitten because the mitten has a hole in it. I need to buy a new one and throw that one out. Same place, but the other hand. Yeah, the mitten has a hole in it. I'm going to, it's not going to close, but what? I need to send myself the Zoom link. Okay. So I can send it to your family. All right. Um, so Cammy's going to do something to the, the screen right now. We'll be back in one second. One second. going to pose. So go to me. Ugh, that hurts. I'm sorry, yeah. You smell a like cake. Well, yeah. You smell the like cake right now. Yeah, so we have the cake done. All right, that's, that's it. Okay. Back on it. We're back. Cammy smells like cake. Okay. Now, Cam, is there any special reason <laughs> that you smell like cake right now? You don't know? Well. Should we expect any... Announcements or surprises tonight? No? No, so, no. Nothing special. All right. I don't nothing know. special. I can't tell. That's a lie. Are, are That's you a excited lie. About something? Something? I'm excited. Better, about... better keep working to deal yeah. with what's coming. Oh, God. You have no idea. <laughs> you guys, for those of you out there who don't know, I am totally screwed. <laughs> I am screwed. I better be strong. 
You gotta be a good example. I better be strong. I'm not strong. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. Even even being strong, I'm screwed. You gotta be a good example. All right, here we go. Come on now. Give me strength. Give me strength. Let's get it. Come on, baby. Bring it. Get it, babe. Come on, one time. Be strong. What's interesting, I told myself, Dave, shoot for 20. I think I was afraid to even say 25. And sure as shit, I had 25 in me. Lesson right there. Lesson right there. That's, that's, that's a mental break on my part. You know, if I was thinking 25, maybe I would have gotten 30. Whew. Oh, you guys have no idea what you're capable of. I can't tell you how many times I thought I was never going to train again. I didn't think I'd ever be able to get under a barbell. I thought I'd be, I don't know, writing at a desk or doing yoga. Doctors told me you're not going to lift weights anymore. And I don't know why, but I just never believed them. They said that, and I go, well, that's just not possible. Uh, I refuse to believe it. And, uh, I don't know. You know, maybe they were right, but I think – the power of your thought is uh, something people can't, you can't measure that. You can't measure willpower and uh, determination. That's an X factor. The doctors try to set these expectations for you that are really set up in a way to not disappoint you. They don't want to tell you you can get back and walk or do whatever because if you don't, then you're going to say, hey, doc, you lied to me. And I'm saying that doctors aren't smart, but you, you are the master of your own destiny. No one's going to tell you you can or can't do something. You figure it out yourself. You believe in yourself. Oh, Cammy's a great example. If you look at on paper, she doesn't match up anywhere near some of these girls that were at the CrossFit Games. When she won, she shouldn't have been there. Uh, she was not the most talented athlete. She was weak when I met her and slow and she can do a couple things real well, but she was determined. You know, definitely girls out there that are way more athletically gifted, that have better natural gifts and just hit the lotto um, than the genetic pool, way more than Cammy. She can become a world champion. Then that's a that's an inspiration to people. It gives people hope, I think, especially those that know her. You know, what she did, I think people see outside, they go, oh, she's a great athlete. But that's not the case. She's a good athlete. She made herself great. Now, a lot of athletes never even get to tap into that. They're afraid to work, afraid to take chances, afraid to believe in themselves and they're entitled. They just deserve it because they should, they're supposed to have it because other people tell them they should. That's baloney. You get what you earn. That's it. It's that simple. All right, set four. How many are we going for? 25. <laughs> the goal. I'm trying to get 25. Oh. Right now, I just feel how full the pec is. A lot of blood in the pec. A lot of metabolic stress building up. I can feel the, the blood, the lactate, the hydrogen, all kind of builds up in the muscle. It really feels full and tight. It's a good sign. That's what you want in the training session. The metabolic stress is a good catalyst for growth. It creates these protein enzymatic responses in the muscle that become anabolic. Help those muscles grow. Like Arnold said, you gotta chase the chase the pump, baby. Chase the pump. A little bit of science behind that though. Alright, here we go. Come on, motherfucker. Got it. Just get it. Get it on, baby. Come on. 
This one is dedicated to IFBB Pro Joel Thomas, because he inspires me. You inspire me, Joel. So here we go. Do this one for Joel. I know Joel, Joel got a pec tear. He's still training hard as hell. I don't have a torn pec. What's my excuse? Come on. Yep, yep. Every set, every set is worse. Jesus. Oh gosh. Oh. Oh baby. Good. I like it. I like it. Good chase that. That tastes good. Give me more. I want some more of that. Oh. Whew. Oh, that pin popped out again. Yeah, baby. Okay, so a couple positive takeaways here. One, I only have one more set left on this. So thank you, Union Universe, for getting me through this, hopefully. Uh, two, hit 25, but that was probably the hardest set of 25 I did. You keep the weight the same, but the fatigue is compounding. You know, I can feel every set's hard, a little harder here, a little harder here, definitely harder here. <laughs> Um, so, you got to rise to the occasion one more each set. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys are getting something out of this. I hope so. This is uh, muscle anarchy. And five sets of failure here. High rep stuff. We did some heavier mechanical loading, some tempos on the dumbbell bench press. And now we're hitting five sets of 25 incline machine. So, hard. Definitely hard. I don't like easy though. Easy's not cool. Let's see if I can set myself up for the fly here. Possibly. Let's see if we can get that this guy actually when I think about it. That might be quite things. So I'm thinking about my next exercise right now, which is going to be a dumb uh, abandoned chest fly with an ISO hold. And I think this could potentially work right here. Maybe this one. It's wide enough to. Yeah. That could work. So we'll play around with that when we get there. It's going to be a nasty combo of some press downs and some flies to end it. Um, okay, so here's what we got. We're on our fifth set of 25 on the machine incline press. When you guys doing this at home, you're going five sets to failure on the incline with moderate weight. The rep range is 20, 20, 20, 25 is, is a good rep range unless you're trying to hold. There's no tempo. You're just pushing blood into muscle. You're trying to get as pumpy as you can. And now uh, we're going to do the last set. So you are trying hard as hell to hold those 25s. Last set got scary. Got scary last set. But hopefully when things get scary, you can meet that fear with belief and confidence in yourself. Now, fear has power, but don't give it too much power. You know, it is what it is. You can make it more than it is. Is this going to be hard? Fuck yeah, it's going to be hard. But uh, it's not impossible. It's not insanely hard. It's not dangerously hard. Um, so just, uh, you know, Take it for what it is, but don't give it power. Don't give it too much power. All right. All right, here we go. So this one, this set is dedicated to my good buddy, IFBB Pro, Scott Dennis. Scott's getting pumpy. One, one thing that's kind of cool about Scott is he was preparing for shows, pro shows that got canceled, and he said, fuck it. I'm still going to prepare. I don't care. He's doing it for himself. Um, so the reason why I think ultimately that's the 
That's the biggest reason to train. So you look back and you can say, I fucking brought it. <laughs> Take a picture and say, hey, I look like that one time. <laughs> uh, nothing more gratifying than, you know, the process is awesome. I love the process. Um, but there's nothing more gratifying than, than meeting a goal and, and uh, knowing you achieved it. That's, that's, the, that's the, you know, icing on the cake, the reward. The process also has a lot of, a lot of reward to it, too. Every day you can get to feel like you were victorious that day. But right now, we're going to make it. We're going to make it to these 25. That's it. I'm going to do it. I didn't know if I could do it going into it. Now I know I'm going to do it. So come on, babe. Get it. Pump that chest. Let's get big. Come on, big cat. 25. Come on, Dave. Give me strength. Give me strength. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Come on. sets of 25 reps I had the full stack on that fucker and maybe next time I'll add a little band to it um, so that's it five now we're gonna end with some uh, puppy pumpiness we're gonna do a complex of flies and press downs and so here we go got this guy get it off here so you can do this with a band and press down I'm gonna show get you guys so you can see there you go. You can do this with a, you guys see the camera here? You can do this with a band press down. I'm gonna do it with my cable, because I have one. And, uh, woo, oh yeah, that would be spicy. You just feel this out. This is interesting. I haven't caught a band in there. Huh, get that band out of there. Nope. Okay, good. All right, so, trying to kind of figure this out. I want to get a fly probably here so I can get it more even. So if I go, I grab it behind my back like this. Yep, there it is. Make sure it's even. I keep my flies right here. Yep, you can do that. I think I might be able to do a little bit more tension too. So if I go over the long way, a little bit more length. Okay, well, we'll give it a shot, crew. We'll give it a shot and we'll see how she goes. Uh, so, I'm going to come behind myself here. Yep, staggered stance. 30 plus a 30 second hold. Nice little hold. I'm gonna superset that. 15 press downs with a nice three second negative. You'll fan it out. Good right there. That should be solid.
Finisher for the chest and the triceps, part of our muscle anarchy program. 30 banded chest flies was a 30 second ISO hold. And I think now I can get even more tension on that band. Um, maybe going around the super long ways there for the next set. We got nine seconds and then do it all over again. 605. Huh. Uh, this was a good day. Very grateful for today. I'm grateful that Cam and I were able to get to the obstetrician. Uh, I'm grateful that the baby is looking healthy. Uh, I'm grateful to be here with you guys. I'm grateful for the ability to train the best I can right now. Uh, grateful for our business. Grateful for our family. Grateful for my health. Grateful for Cammy's health and happiness. Grateful for this sweet ass haircut she gave me. Uh, no complaints on my end. Let's hit step number two 30 plus 30, and then 15 with the three count. Going the long ways now. Watch out, Scott Dennis. I'm coming for you, bro. Coming for Scotty. Scott is my inspiration. I love his attitude. You know, like physique is cool. I always have a physique that somebody, you know, you emulate a physique, like, oh, I don't look like that guy, but I like Scott's attitude. He, he inspires me just how, how he attacks and how determined he is to be successful. Okay, tricep press downs. Here we go. 15 with three count. 15 with three. That's one. Good. One more set. It just makes me want to be in the fetal position. We're about to lose this live, so I'm going to end it and I'll restart it. Ending. And now, shared story. Go back. Go live. Oh, you guys okay there? What's this say? Everyone wants to be a Thunderbro. No one's left those heavyweights. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> That's a good line. Everybody wants to be third quote. No one wants to lift those heavy weights. Oh, man. Whew. It's good. I feel good now. Feel good. A good spot mentally. Heart's in a good place. Head's in a good place. Body's in a good place. That's important. Get all these three things in line. You know, spiritually, feel good. Feel grateful. Feel rewarded. Yeah, it's good. It's good right now. So we're getting the last set of uh, Thunderbird Muscle Anarchy. Probably take this belt off at this point. <laughs> um, what was the saying of the day? 
Everybody wants to be a Thunder Bro, but no one wants to lift those heavy ass weights. <laughs> so here we go, last set. 30 banded chest flies into a 30 second hold, just holding the contraction. That goes immediately into 15 tricep press down with a three count, come back up and then into negative. Uh, so here we go, last set, last one, best one. Let's set it home. And then Papa's got a dinner. Papa's got a dinner to go to. Papa's got some food to eat. Papa, I can't wait for our little baby to call me Papa. 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 All right. So you guys can see how I hook this up. Make sure I get it even. So I'll just go stagger stance, elbows nice wide. Two. We're awesome. You guys are live. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Okay. Oh.